Welcome, Aquarius, to your Astro Dice reading for November. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in your Astro Dice. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay. Ooh, what do we got going on? We have Venus coming out, feeling Venetian. Got the third house with some scorpion energy coming through. Ooh. Okay. So, for the third house, we are talking about Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. Nice. And that scorpion energy. We have the energy of intense, masterful, thoughtful, ma magnetically charming, and also secretive and possessive. Ooh, I always love that. Okay. And the third house. House of your potential for learning something in your local neighborhood. So you're actually learning something as you're um, being beautiful over here. Extra beautiful. Being extra beautiful, okay? But it's kind of funny because for some of you, I think that you like are going to the beauty parlor or doing something exciting, um, but you are keeping it a secret. What are you doing with secretive? I do feel this piece, you know, that rebellious, rebellious Aquarius over here is doing something secretive. It's almost like I'm gonna beautify myself or do something amazing. Um, and then I'm going to pop this out on someone, right, as a secret. I don't know. Or you're buying something to keep it as a secret. There's something secret going on. I wonder if it's going to come up. I don't know. Um, but you're learning about this, this situation. It's, it's almost like you're out looking um, at maybe prices of something. And you're going to pop this secret. Hmm. Okay, getting straight to the, to the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Having the courage. I'm telling you, someone out there is having the courage to, like, change their wardrobe or do something, um, but they're kind of keeping it a little bit of a secret um, so that they can, like, kind of pop this out on, so, <laughs> on your love or something. Look, I cut all my hair off. Ah! Your beautiful long hair. You're like, yes, but I feel so free and so light. <clears throat> it was kind of something that you were, yeah, you were kind of, um, it's dark thoughts. It, it could have been something you're a little fearful, fearful of, excuse me, something that's so different um, for some of you that you actually had to build the courage to do this or maybe, you know, um, gosh, if you guys have like Taurus rising, uh, it could be because you don't like change much. Right, so it took a lot for you to do such a thing, or it's just so out of the box that it's something you never did. Um, oh my gosh, but yeah, you're doing something, and you could be, like I said, learning about if it's a new couch, or maybe you're changing something. You could be learning prices about this or something. I don't know. Teacher, there, yeah, you're learning through this person. You're learning something. Uh, for sure, right? We know that. Third house. Um, you could have somebody teaching you. You could be um, having someone. Um, yeah, you're learning from someone. They're teaching you how to um, redecorate. It's success. Maybe you signed up for college. Oh my gosh, there's so many different things you could go on. But you had a little, there was a little... Um, anxiety, a little maybe fear of doing such a thing that you have to take the courage to do so. But you're being so Venetian about it over here. Uh, the Venetian has this desire to want to um, do things that has to do with success, and right, and these type of things. So take it how it resonates, but there's something that you're learning that is going to change a lot, right, and make you feel very proud um, and beautiful. Um, very successful, however, take it how it resonates. 
in the mid-month, you have your intuition is sparking off. You have the family. Oh, my gosh, you could be showing up at this family. Oh, my gosh, I just heard it, too. You could be showing up at this Thanksgiving um, dinner or something, and you have this new wardrobe, this new hairdo, or they come to your house, and you have the families coming over, and they see your, your house is decorated, or, or you're teaching them, or you... That you're telling them, excuse me, not teaching them, you're telling them that you're going to do this college, you're going to college or something. Something is going on that has to do with the family. Oh my gosh, some of you might be pregnant and you're going to pop the message to the family that you are pregnant, taking the courage out. And you're learning about maybe pregnancy. Oh my gosh, I hear all kinds of things now. But you have the healing light over here coming in through the third through the third house over here. So whatever it is, it's very healing for you because it makes you feel so magnificent, right? Beautiful, magnificent, all these things. Um, if it is just wardrobe change, maybe it makes you feel like you're a new person. I'm not that old person that I used to be. Um, I'm this new person. And at the end of the month, you're feeling a little bit of a decrease, but I feel like it's energy. It's, it's energy of the Venus. You're feeling a little bit of the decrease of the desire, a little bit of the decrease of the kind of the, the just that energy, right? That, that Venetian energy. Not feeling as woo-woo as I was before, right? So you're kind of feeling it kind of decrease, but you're still having joyous fun. You're still feeling lighthearted, and you have this loving man or woman, whoever, this loving person around you who is just um, really like... I feel like they're blown away that you, um, wow, that you have done whatever it is you did, Aquarius. <laughs> and it looks like uh, for a lot of you, it could be just out having fun with this loving man as well, or woman, this loving person. So, going up to the beginning of the month real fast, let's get a card, a couple of cards on that up there. Having this courage to do so, yeah, where you didn't feel like you really wanted to take control of that, now you're going to be the emperor. Um, and before you felt a little unstable about the situation, um, so this is why you're bringing the courage up. There's that fear, getting rid of that fear with the devil card upside down, saying, yeah, I no longer have that. I have the realizations that this fear... Um, and anxiety is that what was holding me back the whole time, not making me feel like the emperor. So I'm going to take the courage to do what I want. And having this Venetian energy is going to really spark that up. Um, and then, of course, the learning is the Ten of Cups. This teacher over here, um, whether it's a real teacher teaching you, a friend, however, um, or just you learning um, and becoming your own teacher, is really bringing up the... Um, Ten of Cups is really bringing in a lot of satisfaction and happiness. And it feels like you're going to bring in the happiness and satisfaction for your family as well. I have family here as well. And I see the dog and the kids and, you know, the family members and all these people. Your intuition is sparking for the perfect timing. You know that this is the perfect timing to manifest this, to get these through. Your intuition is really there to keep the harmony and keep you feeling the peace. Um, and you feel a lot of peace, right? And you're doing a lot of this with this, um, remember this scorpion energy, right? Because there is a lot of thoughtfulness going into this for yourself and for your family, your friends, or however this is working, right? But no matter what it is, you are definitely showing the charm and using that intuition to get to where you really need to be um, and really pushing forward. If it wasn't a better time, this is the, this is the perfect timing now to do so, and it was like you were waiting for this timing this whole time. And now you get to manifest on it for the next piece that you want for the perfect timing. So that card's really got two different things going on. Within the family, you have a cycle change over here. So it is bringing in this new beginning for your family. Um, it could also be the, um, the new cycle change of how you're interacting with your family or how they family interacts together, but it does feel like there's a lot of family things, and you're really learning over here how to bring all these pieces together and how to do the healing light over here. Wow, because at one time it feels like you were kind of licking your wounds a little bit about the situation, but now you feel like you're completely healed because this Venus energy is in, is really in sparking um, 
self-love. Let's not forget that. That's That was the word I was looking for earlier with this self-love. Really bringing in the self-love, which is bringing in this healing light. When you love to do things and you're not scared to take that, that leap of faith or do something that actually makes a change, right? Then we can start to begin the healing. So you're really starting to see now and feel this healing light coming around you. So you don't have those that energy around you anymore, right? Now, like I said, the Venus is going to start to decrease a little bit. Now, that doesn't mean the self-love is going to go away because you have the healing light. What it means is that that kind of uh, overwhelming sense of nurturing, overwhelming sense of love. You see what I'm trying to say? Because you know how Venus is, right? The over indulgences of wanting things or needing things those things are going to start kind of decreasing towards the end of the month what it's already proved that it did what it was supposed to do to get you to be where you need to be so it was like like i said the perfect timing for you to do so so it's almost like the universe brought in this energy for you at the perfect moment so that you can get through this hey you don't really need that anymore so this is going to start making you go back and it really does make me think you're going back maybe to just your normal Aquarian energy, right? Or maybe your rising energy. Another energy that you're used to having um, within the third house. Um, or just, just normal, right? And you're very aware that the energy is kind of leaving because it's going to make you uh, feel a little either restless or um, not as inspired in those areas. Like I, I did my beauty, I got my haircut, I did these and that, I maybe I indulged in all these beautiful new clothes, um, you know, and or I did this house or however it is, but now you're gonna say, oh, and now I'm not really feeling it anymore. I just wanna kind of kick back on the couch, enjoy my new clothes, my new hair, and I'm kind of done now wandering around doing all these things so that the energy it's it's kind of a lower uh energy in some ways um compared to this of this type of energy right so now you're just going to enjoy what you have and go out and have some fun with maybe your new clothes or your new excitement of you know so you could kind of say that the decrease of the excitement is kind of uh done and over with right it can only last so long right not saying that you're still not having a great time in your new clothes and stuff. Oh yeah, it's just that I don't need anything else. I'm kind of I'm kind of done now. <laughs> kind of done now. Can we just go to the uh, carnival now so I can go wear my new dress? <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, yeah, but you do have this support around you um, and this love, and you're still having this loving, supporting energy um, of yourself. It's more than likely yourself or even this, maybe this loving man um, and these people around you. And it could even be your children, you know, having the support of your children just to make you have some fun as you're going out having this great time. You've seen your ships come in. That's why, right? It's like you're seeing all your ships come in, so there's no real reason. You have this loving man coming in with this queen of coins, so it could be a Capricorn coming in, um, which is saying, hey... But more than anything, it's, it's you also saying, um, I feel prosperous and I feel beautiful. And I, now I'm going kind of, you know, you kind of moved it. Wow, you moved in to this earth, more earth energy. More um, grounded. See, you would, I mean, Venus can, is, you know, earth as well, but in its own way. But um, it's also the air of earth. But... It's not the point. The point is you're moving more into this kind of Capricorn. Maybe you have Capricorn rising. Um, but you're moving more into this kind of just, I'm very prosperous. Look at, I'm beautiful. I'm successful. I'm awesome. But I'm just feeling kind of just firm and grounded and kind of hum-ho and just very simplistic right now. So you see, that's what it was. You went from this like vibrant, awesome, to just like, oh yeah, everything's great. You know, and just simplistic. And like I said, just enjoying it. But this loving man, uh, this loving person is seeing this and, wow, you're really catching his eye over here. And it doesn't matter if it's somebody you already have, um, whether it's male or female, um, but they really see you as like, whoa, hello. I don't, and I don't care if you're male or female, they're seeing you. 
it doesn't matter, right? They're seeing you as like, whoa, hello, Lady Godiva. What horse did you just ride in on? I like it, right? Um, and it's that self-assurance also. Remember that it's not, it doesn't have to be because you got a new haircut. It doesn't have to be any of that. It's the energy you're producing, which is catching this person's attention. So, whoa, hello. So really grabbing the attention of, and you know, it could even be more than one. You might be walking around strutting your stuff, not even realizing you're strutting your stuff, and people are turning their heads going, whoa, look at Aquarius. <clears throat> so you never know. Okay, guys, and that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.